Hey, it's Sam Beck here. Welcome to the Chatterpal Demo. Now, Chatter Pal. Hey, it's Sam Beck here. Welcome to the Chatter Pal Demo. Now, today I'm going to show you um, step by step how to create one of these Chatter Pal um, chatbots, and you'll be able to see where the software might be useful, why you might want to get the software, and um, hopefully get an overall picture about what it is and how it works. So, um, what we're going to go through is we're first of all going to go into my campaigns, and this is the first step in creating these avatars or these bots. You've got two options when you get in here. You've got a chatbot and avatar, which is basically a chat that pops up and an avatar that supports that chat, introduces, welcomes um, people as they visit your website. And then you've got the avatar only. Now the avatar only is that particular, that person, that um, virtual person that pops up and welcomes people to your website uh, as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the chat and avatar today. Now when you go in here, you can then choose to customize your avatar to be how you would like. So we can go down the list here. We could say, for example, choose Cindy. Or we've got you know, a, a range of different types of people, um, different ethnicities, different age types, uh, all of this added within um, this with different, uh, as you can see here, different objects as well, depending on uh, what type of business we're dealing with and um, what type of uh, you know, person your audience might be most interested in. So let's, for example, go ahead and we'll choose Brody. We'll click on this, um, then we'll go ahead and we will go next. Then we've got the text to speech feature. Ah, by the way, I missed these as well. So we've also got 3D avatars. Um, so that there's actually a lot more than this, uh, than the ones that I showed you, 3D avatars. We can go through these. These are different um, professions, local business types. We've got animals even if you would, would want to. Um, you may want an animal that pops up. And you've also got green screen as well. So you could actually upload your own video. So you could actually be the avatar yourself if you wanted to on a green screen backdrop. Then you've got the language that you want to choose. You can choose from a range of different languages. Um, you know, these are the languages that are here. You can see them right now. You've then got the type of voice that you want. And um, I believe these stars are here because they're pro features. Um, and you've got the demo you can play. Hello, my name is Joey. You can pick me as your tech. You can choose which one you want. Hello, my name is Matthew. You can pick me as your text. And then after that, you can then choose which script you want. Now you can choose to auto uh, translate that script depending on what you want as well. And you can also customize the script as you want to as well within this box here. So for example, if we were offering a discount, we might click, click this, then we can customize this as you want. So I could say, hey, my name is Sam. And on behalf of everyone on the team, I'd like to thank you for visiting us today. And I could customize this, add it, add my website in. I can also choose to increase the speed, the pitch, and um, I can also auto translate if I wanted to as well. I can also import some other speech if I wanted to as well. I could record my own audio or upload my own audio. So you've got a lot of different options that are included with this particular feature here. Now we've finished with the avatar. This is our avatar here. We're now onto the chatbot itself. So we've got the ability to upload our own image into here. So we can actually upload our own image. So if I was the owner of the company, I might want to upload it here. I can rename the avatar to Sam. Uh, it could be Sam Backer or it could be a business name, anything like that can be customized. We can also change the color style as well, although um, personally I like this color. You could also use custom colors as well if you really wanted to. So um, you could choose to mirror the avatar as well. Um, that basically means that, um, I'm actually not entirely sure what mirror avatar means actually. Um, oh, I assume it's to do with a logo image. But, oh, actually, I know, it'll be to do with the, um, I think it's to do with the name. So the naming will actually be there as well. You've also got typing animations that you can add into here as well. And um, next, we'll go into the actions. Now, this is probably the most valuable part of these. And the reason I say it's the most valuable is that when you are creating these chatbots, you want to, you, you know, you have specific types of actions that you want people to take. It might be that it's a survey you want them to fill out. It might be that it's a form you want them to fill in. It might be a product that you're trying to sell. And um, you can basically add these in. So Chatterpal will say yes, no, um, question, button, video, all of this. You can add this into the chatbot conversation itself. So, um, or you could just add in, you know, a chat or conversation. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can uh, add this in. We can click that. We can add more of these. Uh, and then when you're ready, just click save. And this is the first step in those actions. Now, this will take a little bit of time if you're doing it from scratch. So what I'd recommend doing is when you're first starting off with this to become more familiar with these actions, um, you know, choose one of these already pre-done for you templates 
and um, then use that within your campaign. And you can load one of these up, it's instantly done for you, it's got all the text you'll need, and you can customize it as you want to fit um, your particular message and your particular company, or if you're dealing with a business, you know, that particular business itself as well. So, you know, for how many people you could customize this message if you wanted to. And I recommend doing that just when you're first starting off because it is a little bit time consuming to think up all of these different varieties. So why wouldn't you just choose what's already available to you? It seems like it would make a lot of sense to, to do that. Once you've done that, you can click next. You can position this wherever you want. Usually they're positioned in the right. That's where people are looking them for, uh, for them. Um, once per visit is good with me. Show mute button, yes. Um, we can use blackout mode. It'll black out the whole screen. I don't really want that. It's not a good idea. Um, hide avatar after introduction, yes. Because the avatar, it takes up space. So you want to hide it immediately after it's introduced itself. And um, you might even start it minimized as well if you don't want it to intrude on your video visitor's um, initial experience. And personally, um, depending on what kind of client I would be working with, um, start by minimizing is, is usually quite a good starting point anyway. Um, you can use an attention grabber animation, you can start um, a sound if you want, um, then you can name your campaign, uh, restaurant, exit message, you can add all that, um, powered by, none, um, integrate with Zapier if you want to export your leads and wherever you want, um, to a webinar even if you wanted to, and um, then you can choose which, um, you know, website you want it to be featured on you can add your own url there and you can even have this written up into a facebook post there's a few additional customization options here as well when you're done click save and create and what's going to happen is it's actually generating your bot it takes a little bit of time to generate the bot probably about five to ten minutes so one of the ways that um, one of the things that i did i've created a campaign in the past to just show you what you're then able to do so you've got chats, which is really important. You can actually see the conversations that the bot is engaged with. And um, this is useful because, um, you know, as you can see here, you can actually export the chat so you can see what your customers are interested in. All of that can be done. Um, you can preview it uh, and you can also get the code in the URL. This is what you'll need to copy into the website itself. Um, and that will then help you to have this bot, this chat bot, this avatar show up. Um, or if you'd like to, you can actually use an instant site URL if you wanted to bring people to that um, and just the bot itself. We can also preview it so you can see Brody is right here. He's talking away. And um, so I'm just going to mute this. Um, so then he basically will greet you and then, you know, he, he has his avatar popping up so you can then engage in the conversation. Hey, um, this, and then it says, hey, nice to meet you. Um, what time or uh, would be a good time to set this up. Okay, so we want to book a meeting in this one. Um, I haven't fully completed, this was like a random one that I did, but we want to book it for this time. I say which time I want to book it for, he says thank you, it's noted, and then that particular thing is stored. And they'll say what phone number can I, can I call you on? Um, because you know I want to make sure that I can do this, and then that phone number will be stored for you, and you can export that into Zapier or export it into your um, software. And um, uh, what email can I use? So it might be sam at um, you know, backersbonus.com. We click OK. And then all of this data is being captured as it goes through and, um, and does this. So it's uh, really quite cool. You can expect a call from a member of staff sometime soon. And again, then you've got the website. So you can customize all of this as you want. Um, it's really, really cool. It's a good way to generate leads, and it's a good way also to engage in conversations, book appointments, and there's a range of different actions that you can do within these chatbots, which makes it um, a really quality software at a really low cost that I definitely can recommend getting access to if you're dealing with businesses or if you're wanting to use in your own business. Thanks for listening. I hope this video was useful for you and you now understand what the software does, how it works. I'll talk to you soon. See you later.